love and still love the Bottega Cloud Clutch. But we don't necessarily want to pay that price. I know I don't. Your girl is going to bring you a dupe to that bag. I think I've shown this bag like way, way back in the day um, when I first got it. But I hadn't really shown you guys the wear and tear on the bag. And here we are today with the Monster Gabrielle Cloud Clutch. It's not a dupe to the Bottega. But it gives me that vibe, if that makes sense, because they're not trying to replicate the bag. The top of the bag is different from the Bottega bag, and the leather is actually different. So, in this video, I'm going to break down, is it worth buying the Bottega Cloud Clutch or finding a dupe that is really great quality and a fraction of the price? Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. I'm gonna go through some of the um, differences in the bag, and I'm gonna start with the price. The price is the number one thing that is the major difference in these bags. The Bottega bag is close to $4,000, and the Monster Gabrielle bag is about $700, okay? And that is for the oversized one, which I'll show you guys just how it looks. It's a really nice size bag. I have it in two colors and trust me, I want more and I'll tell you why once I get into a little bit more of the specs on the bag. This is the actual bag. Um, the Cloud Clutch, the Bottega version, does not have this silhouette here. It's more of a, I don't know, I want to like paper bag because it's all bunched in together. So that's the first thing. The first difference is the price. And for me, <laughs> in my wardrobe and how I shop, I don't necessarily have to pull the trigger on some bags if I feel like I can find something equal or even better as far as the style. So the second similarity is they both have multiple colors. The Cloud Clutch from Bottega has, I want to, I'm going to say three, but it's more and I'll tell you why. Three main colors, but then they have branched off and got like a zebra print. They have more patterns now, like a weaving pattern. Um, but they definitely have multiple colors as well as the Monster Gabriel bag. Now the Monster bag, they have a slew of colors. Like they have from lime green up into your classic colors. So it really just depends on your wardrobe and your style and what you're trying to bring into your wardrobe. You guys already know I talked about those lime green <laughs> shoes from Jimmy Choo. I absolutely love them. The issue is that I haven't worn them a ton. It's not that I can't, because I have a lot of new shoes, but I definitely haven't worn them as, as much as I thought I would. But spring is around the corner again, and I'm probably gonna be wearing those <laughs> this spring. Let's get into another difference between the two bags. The Monster Gabrielle bag is 100% lamb skin, all right? And then the Bottega bag is 90% calf skin and 10% brass. I don't even know what they mean by brass because I just read it on their website. From my understanding, when designers are making items and designing clothes, they would rather use lambskin for coats, jackets, uh, blazers, things like that because they're much more softer to the touch. However, this bag is lambskin. It's very soft. But if you're not a person who's hard on your bags, you can definitely get something like this. It's very pretty. It's so pretty. Like inside of the bag is leather. I'm just gonna show you guys like some details of the bag when I show you guys the, um, when I get to the next part. But it's a really, really nice bag. And as far as calf skin, most designers will use calf skin um, because it's more durable for like shoes, bags, any accessories that may be a little bit harder on. That's one of the differences that I don't know. I don't necessarily dislike that the Monster Gabrielle bag is lambskin because I really like the texture of the bag. It's like it's such a nice bag. And the price, guys, like who cannot beat this price? So that's the main thing is the material is different, but it's, it's so nice, guys. I mean, like, look, I necessarily don't need to go ahead and spend $4,000 and I can get this. Everybody's going to have the other bag, but some will be like, oh, it's a dupe. It's not a dupe. It's literally a diff. It's almost the same size as the um, Bottega bag. But the silhouette and the design of the bag is actually different. Really nice bag. And I think it's very, very affordable. And then, okay, if you Google the bag, because this is the old version, the new version does have like, like a string or something that you can actually pull out, I believe. 
Um, but if you find like the older versions, Chad, you can get them for even lower than $6.95. Okay, but I'm almost 100% sure they were $5.95 at one point. Now they're $6.95. So, but it's still a really great quality bag. So they're both made in Italy, which is a really good thing. So great quality. Um, designs of both bags are really, really nice. They both have a magnetic closure. So quickly able to close. I'll show you guys a video of that as well. I have all the papers in here. It closed out. <laughs> it closes right back. Like no issues with the bag. Really nice for maybe three years now. Really great condition. I'm just really careful with the bag because I know it is a delicate material, but I'm just very cautious. I try not to wear a bunch of oils and stuff on my hand. I wipe it down. I don't leave it on a counter if I go out. For the girls who goes to bar, who go to bars, you may not want to just sit this on a bar because usually bars have like a little bit of moisture on it and you don't want to risk messing up the bottom. But other than that, the clamp is really secure. It's very durable. Love it. The Monster Gabriel bag has two different sizes, which is the mini and the oversize. And as far as the Bottega, they have a mini, a teen, and they have a classic size. So their classic size to me looks like the oversized one at Monster Gabriel. Absolutely love it. Now the teen, I went into Bottega like a few months ago and I actually like the teen size. It's not a bad size bag. It's, it's you know, it's for a girl who's six feet tall, I think it's a good size for us. Many, many bags just look strange unless we're going to like a dinner party. Like, and I'm gonna, I'm not even gonna say clutches. I mean like little top handle bags. I just don't think they look good on us. It's just entirely too small. We don't have to necessarily always have to get what everybody else has because we're not average height, okay? And the last thing is that they have one compartment each, um, which is great. And like no, actually this has like a little side pocket. Um, the Bottega, it, I believe it only has one, but this does have like a little side pocket. And that is also in the lambskin. So, ciao. The bag is nice. If you have something that you want to buy that is higher end and you really don't want to spend the money, Trust me girls, do a search. There's so many designers that have bags and shoes and jackets that are great leather, but not necessarily the designer tag on it. So you guys already know, you just paying for the name chat. For me, this worked well with my wardrobe. Like I said, I have it in white as well. I've shown that bag before, um, but this is something that I would definitely say that it's worth it. It's not a ton of money. The quality is great and it'll, pretty much last you for a long time if you take really good care of it. Wipe the bag down, don't do too much with the bag. As far as what could fit in my bag, <laughs> it's a really good size. This is probably a little bit over 12 inches, I think. I can get a, I don't have a ruler. Um, but I can fit a tripod in here and a tripod that kind of closes up, maybe like a five and a half foot foot tripod that closes up, I can fit my cell phone, I think that's a 13 I have, and that's the Pro. I can also fit a small wallet in there, keys, I can put sunglasses cases, I can even put my um, GX7, is that what it's called? Yeah, the GX7 uh, vlogging camera and still have room in the bag, not be super heavy. If you want to carry all of that stuff in a clutch that's the size, because you can, you still don't necessarily want it to be like super heavy because you're carrying it like this or possibly like this. So for me, all of those things that fit in this bag with my keys, my car keys, it's a really good size. I think it's the perfect bag for someone who doesn't want to pull that trigger on the Bottega bag. Get this. I'm always going to tell you guys, go for quality first. And I'm going to do another video about luxury bags and are they actually worth it? Because trust and believe me, I see a lot of girls buying sunglasses like galore and they talk about the quality of the glasses, how the glasses are so great. But let me tell you, many, many moons ago when I was very young, I remember going into a store and the person was a salesperson. 
And they said, you know, these glasses are just like, everybody gets the same glasses, like the frame of the glasses, right? And they're literally plastic. And the designers are just popping their names on. Hey, and there's nothing wrong with it because you're buying the name and the style of the name and how the name looks, right? Because some of us really like how YSL is and some of us don't really like Prada, right? So it really just depends on your, your style. You can buy a bag that is great quality. When I am meeting with clients, I always tell them quality over quantity any day. I don't know if you guys have noticed, I haven't been doing a bunch of hauls and stuff in 2023. And that is solely because I wasn't really feeling a lot of the stuff that was coming out. I'm very cautious on what I buy and I wear my stuff. I don't buy stuff and to take it back. Okay. So <laughs> Think about this bag if you're looking into a clutch. If you don't want something this big, if you're shorter than I am, they definitely go for the mini size. And the mini size is really cute. They have more colors in the mini. They have a beautiful, I think it's called, um, it's red. It looks red. It's very pretty. It's kind of muted though. I don't even know the name of it, but it's really nice. They have a string, like the little string. I'm calling it a string, but it's like a shoulder thing, but it's a very small. Um, So I probably wouldn't wear that, but if you're looking for a really nice clutch bag that you can wear all the time, definitely check this out. It is worth it in my opinion. And like I said, you can find it on sale. And right now on their website, they probably have a sale going on. 100% lambskin, really nicely made inside of the bag is lambskin. I think it's a win. So <laughs> that's it for this video. Is the bag worth it? Yes, definitely check it out. It's not necessarily a dupe but it's definitely giving me that vibe um, with a little twist, guys. <laughs> so thank you guys for tuning into this video. Make sure you are subscribing to the channel and liking the video, guys. If you stay to the end of this video, please comment, Coco, we see you. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at CocoStylesNYC and CocoStylesNY. And make sure y'all checking out my blog, okay? Because the blog got all the goods. I, the, the blog has everything. And my personal style service, CocoStylesNY. And I'm on Tickety Tickety Talk, Coco Styles NYC. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.